Okay, so let me start the slide screen. So what is LEAP? Um, so basically, when we come to the introduction of LEAP, it's an accelerated job match matching system. And we pre previously had an existing job, uh, NX job tracking system. This is a new component of that. And it helps us to centralize, it helps the team and 10x and uh, the, the trainees, which is you, to uh, centralize and uh, validate the profile management system, which an easier way to, to monitor your applications and statuses so that we can all have uh, a better outcome and uh, the impact of uh, LEAP can be very, um, you know, centralized and uh, data driven. So what it has is, is it has inter integrated skill and knowledge gap filling tools, um, and it aims to be user friendly, just like uh, just like uh, what you want an app or a, a job tracking job application, for example, uh, just like LinkedIn. It, ha it has to be user friendly and addictive. It is user friendly and addictive. So it uh, it, it has an incentive structure to motivate a large number of job applications by you, by trainees. This means that um, the number of jobs that you will apply on LEAP, not, not only the number, but the, uh, for example, the job you've applied should match to your skills and your personal preferences. So maximizing that is the real aim of uh, LEAP. So at the end of the day, we want you all to get jobs, to, to apply to jobs you want and according to your skill level. And then after that, you get interviews and uh, we'll, we'll guide you through all of these. And after that, you'll be employed. So that's the aim we have for, uh, for LEAP. So uh, what LEAP, LEAP has is, it's a, is an immersive job search technique which uh, prioritizes a job advertisement for tra trainees, job, uh, uh, job descriptions, job uh, postings. So uh, the backend algorithm is uh, usually, uh, the backend algorithm is set to, to that, it, so that you, your skill matches to the jobs recommended to you personally. So based on your feedback and um, your job status and your, your feedback on the feedback, uh, you'll get to, we'll get to introduce that in the afternoon. Uh, you, you'll see what, how and when you'll be able to give feedback. And those feedbacks are really helpful for LEAP to recommend to you uh, uh, jobs that are specifically for you and, uh, you know, that relate to your skills, personal skills. So um, what, what does LEAP do? So LEAP, LEAP has job list, listing explorations. Favorites management, so you can favorite, you can like or super like a job, and then that will be uh, included in, a, in another uh, place. It will be a list, a list of jobs that you favorite it will be managed. And uh, the application process, when you apply to jobs, it's very streamlined, it's very fast, and uh, you, can, uh, you can validate your, your skills, you can add or edit your profile that you've uh, already given to 10x um, these there's security and authentication just like 10x and uh, there's role-based access um, administrative oversight so you can um, if, if you if you encounter some technical issues or if you want to ask anything you can you can uh, email our technical team or there are uh, designated administrators that can uh, engage with you and fix your errors and uh, f your feedback and your training enga engagement the training engagement is uh, is what we want at, at leap that that would that would define the next the set of next job uh, recommendations that will be presented to you so there will also be uh, we will track your user st statistics using leap as well so when we go down uh, uh, one level uh, the core fun functionalities of uh, leap is we will process your engagement so you will, whether you've liked or super liked a job we will track that and uh, according to your uh, match status for example if a job 
uh, is matched more than a high, if it has a high level of matching with your skills then uh, if you when you super like that job as an asset will be gen generated uh, based on the skills and your profile that's that you have given us so that means cv and cover let letters will be automatically uh, generated for you so uh, you can track uh, those uh, at on leap so, uh, the key uh, aspects of leap are validated skill knowledge and abilities management so based on the svi level competency framework uh, your your skills will be validated and uh, those skills will be used to search for jobs for you. And then uh, eventually, if you land uh, an, an interview, we will get you ready to that skill, you know, just like, uh, just as this supported job search, supported job search is, is, uh, is there to help you, right? So when we go to the next one, I wanted to show you this, uh, this picture, but it's, Okay, so if you can see this, this is the trainee flowchart for Leap. So when you get into Leap, uh, there are featured jobs, jobs specifically one job for you to be. There will be it will be displayed to you. So um, we will collect feedback for, for from you according to to the job that is displayed to you. So if you have an interest on that job, we will show you a way how to. Um, how to um, how to find out according to that specific SVR level uh, how to decompose a job description and then if you're interested in that job you can either like or dislike or skip the job and um, uh, after your feedback um, you can give your uh, engagement your interaction uh, for example your like or super like on that uh, leap on leap and then the loop goes on and uh, the the job that specific job will be included in the engaged job list display if you like or super like or if you if you engage with that job that will be included in another list and you can update the status of your application for example if uh, if the job interview has passed to um, job placement then you can update that uh, on leap and there is also asset generation uh, as i mentioned for uh, for jobs that are high uh, matched with your skills so you have all the team support um, feedback mecha mechanism is really uh, important um, the job recommendation refinement depends on the uh, feedback mechanism so your feedback is really important to us uh, as the technical part of the of 10x um, so the other thing i would like to discuss is um, when you've uh, had a session of um you know applying to jobs look for jobs that are important that you think that if you share this job it would be important to learn as as a community we can build together so if you if you come across a really good company uh, the descriptions and uh, all the information about that company if you like that job then we will organize a company study and job gossip sessions for you then you can discuss about those jobs, specific jobs, then you can share with your teammates, with other fellow trainees, so that we can grow together and then we can figure out um, what's missing. For example, if uh, if a trainee wants to progress in any uh, in any career, he or she has to find out where exactly uh, her skills or his skills is. In order to do that, um, other people has has to you know has to look at their uh, work or examine some other people's work, some other people work. So through community engagements and uh, these sessions are, are meant for those to happen, for those who have gaps in their skills to, to sort of shed a light on what they should um, upgrade on. So moving on to the next thing is I have, uh, we have prepared, um, a document for specifically for trainees for you we will share it on slack but just to go through it uh, for for a second here uh, for, so it's, what is leap leap um, the ide ideology is 
for example, if you if you imagine a frog leaping from one pod to another, this signifies um, that you have leaped into a preferable in, in, uh, employment, right? Uh, just like the frog, you have leaped from one employment to a preferable of employment. That's the ide ideology of uh, leap, leap. And that's what we want it to be, a place where you can find a system that you, you can find uh, specific jobs that are tailored to you then uh, at your liking and then you will have uh, a career based on the these the steps right so um, ideally leap's mission is to connect you to your ideal jobs with uh, minimal steps so for example previously if you wanted to apply to jobs you would have to go through all these job listings and you have to refine uh refine your skills to whatever um the jobs are so you would have to sort of um if you don't have that skill then it's very hard to apply to that job and it would be a waste of time so leap is trying to minimize the time and efforts you spend on applying to jobs to get you your ideal job uh in a short time so that's what 10 academy and 10x uh, has uh, developed a leap for that's the main purpose of it so what to expect from leap um so from leap what we what, what we want you to uh, get from leap is you have to be able to see the employee and employer perspective for example what does a job a good job description look like for example if um, if a company uh, does a workforce analysis, for example, if a company tries to assess its own uh, uh, its own uh, workforce analysis, it's called the workforce analysis. It's where you uh, def uh, define and find out which which parts of your company is weak or not. So after that, they will try to uh, create job listings of, according to that workforce analysis. So if you understand that, then you can aim uh, at what the company needs. And then you can prepare for that. And then when you get onto the interview and when you get into the job application, you'd have a leverage or an ad advantage so that you can successfully, you know, join that company. Yeah. So in-depth in job, job analysis is important to understand these collaborative discussions about job and company study is very important. And con continuous feedback interactions is very important to us, especially, uh, uh, more more so before you you were in the intensive training so this is a the supportive job search uh part of your training but feedback and interactment uh, interactions with an academy is very important in this phase in this phase of the training right so what what we expect from you is that basically so um you what we want what you what we want you to understand is uh that leap is there to help you, right? It's not going to provide you. Uh, it aims to provide you the ideal job, but if you don't help it, if you don't give feedback, feedback, and if you don't help us find that job for you, it's not going to be as uh, impactful as we want it to, as you want it to, right? Mm -hmm. So let's work together and find the employment that you wish to be in, right? So another analogy. Uh, we have th this is a leap analogy document which basically describes the engagement and uh, personalization personalization of leap uh, which which explains how uh, you can interact with the trainee can interact with leap and the leap will uh, will give you improved job recommendations so this interaction this picture is very important that's why we've uh, prepared this document so another one is uh, job presentation is uh, is that uh, your math score and uh, your the job details and feedback options we want we want you to focus on the job details and we want you to figure out how why this job is important to you it, this um, analogy will help you uh, even if it's not on leap we will help you to decide whether the specific job is right for you or not if you see a job description elsewhere and you'll be able to uh, you know uh, dive into that job and uh, figure out if that job is for you or not so you have three options on um, jobs 
uh, when you find a job after you've analyzed the job you can like a job on leap you can super like it and uh, you can skip it so if you skip it you you can uh, you can give us three feedbacks if you're not interested um, or the next um, set of options that you have on leap so as i've discussed before uh, training engagement is very important to us uh, if you're not engaged on Leap, uh, you can be engaged on uh, Slack. So you can share companies, you can share a screen. For example, if you come across a job that you like or dislike for that matter, uh, you can share it on Slack. You can share it on Slack and um, other trainees can discuss about it. So trainee engagement on on the jobs is very important to us. Personalized job matching system for you and um, community interaction, as you know, is very important to us. So another one, another part of the uh, training that we, you, we want you to get out of is the skills framework and uh, uh, skills framework for the information aids, the SVIA uh, competency framework. This is uh, a document we'll share, share with you that explains why SVIA helps us with uh, the job with job search in general, not just for LEAP, but uh, on LEAP using this SVI level. For example, um, if you're playing a game or if you're uh, interacting with some website, you'd, ha you'd have to have some form of previously known um, requirements before you engage in that. In that uh, system right so the SVIA framework mentality is what we what we want you to have for going to leap right so if you go to their website the SVIA website you can find out more about the SVIA online program and uh, these this framework is very important to you and uh, to to upgrade your skills and to find out where exactly you're, you're lag, lagging behind or where your strengths are. And when you're driving your own uh, uh, CV or cover letter, you can base it on more using this SVI level. So when you're browsing to through Leap, using this SVI level mentality, uh, for example, if you see, a, when you see a job, um, according to that uh, job description, you can, classify that uh, SVI level for that job. For example, we have examples on it here, uh, job description analysis. That's, for example, the job title is data anal an analyst. The job description is analyze data to support business decisions. Um, responsibilities are data collection, data cleaning, statistical analysis, report generation. The required skills are SQL, Python, data visualization, statistics analysis and problem solving. So uh, if you know the SVI levels uh, beforehand, you would know that data analysis is a level three, which, is, which applies data analysis techniques to create insights. Uh, level two and level three. Level two on SVI level uh, defined is assists, which, which means applies basic skills under supervision. Uh, if you have that skill, that's a level. This job requires a level two skill. For example, uh, when we look at it, programming and software development is classified as uh, assist, which applies, you can apply your basic skills under supervision. So this is classified as level two. And level three means uh, applies, which means works independently within established gu guidelines. So uh, data analysis and business intelligence are level three. Which, uh, which means you can apply data analysis techniques to create insights, which you would have to work independently, right? Within, within some form of a guideline. And um, just like that, uh, business intelligence also is about developing and generating reports to support decision-making. So this way, you know, when you look at this job description, you would know that it requires a level two and level three, level two assist and level three applies type of uh, SVI level uh, competency. So when you have a beforehand mentality of this SVI level, if you have a definition of this before approaching the job description, then you can classify and match the SVI's competencies just like this down here. 
And another example that we put to you uh, uh, below this is uh, a skill upgrade plan. For example, um, when we look at this job description, uh, the job title is network engineer. Um, current skills and levels are uh, basic. If you have a, for example, if I have a job um, a current skill of a level two and a level three of ne uh, net network design and network support, uh, which means I have a big basic understanding of network design principles and I can provide support for network issues. But the job description is a level four, which requires you to design and implement and implement complex complex network solutions or provide advanced uh, network support and turbo troubleshooting you know that you will have to have a plan to skip to upgrade your skill right so the skills you have to upgrade are um, network design you have to advance from level two to level four which means from the basic understanding of network design to designing and implementing complex network solutions and the action uh, should be enroll enrolling in advanced network design courses participating in projects involving net uh, complex networks design statuses and to the level four of uh, network support so another one uh, you would have to i would have to uh, upgrade is the network support which has to be advanced from level three to level four which you have to have gain event, uh, experience in uh, advanced networking issues um, and study and obtain relevant certificates on it like the ccnp and engage in hands-on lab and simulations so we've already uh, def defined these uh, so basic skills works independently and leads and influences others, makes decisions about work processes. So by adopting this mentality, you can enhance uh, your job search experience on LEAP and focus on uh, skill development. Um, so if you have these uh, um, in your hand, then you can be able to uh, you can be able to up, you, you can upgrade yourself and on LEAP, based on this SVR level, you can give us feedback and then the system will automatically refine the doctor's recommendations to yourself, to your liking. Okay, so uh, if, it, if anyone has any questions, I can answer now. Um, you have the, um, the demo part in the, in the afternoon and you start uh, apply, applying to jobs. Yeah. And uh, hopefully um, you'll get the, your preferred jobs uh, shortly before, um, preferably before uh, your graduation or even after graduation. Uh, having these skills is really important to you and to everyone and that's how we can uh, maintain um, or upgrade your career in the future using these skills you can upgrade your uh, skill set okay so if, if anyone has questions can answer. um so Abu Bakr asked, is wait. Sorry. Is this on 10x or Leap uh, is a standalone pr platform? It's part of 10x. So this is uh, one of 10x features. It's, uh, it's the job application page. So it's part of 10x. It's not a standalone platform. It's part of 10x. Yeah, yep. just to add up yep. on what the guy said right now. So uh, you guys have been using uh, Ten Academy for some missions uh, on the intensive training part as well as on the chase part. When it comes to LIP, you'll have uh, separate, uh, separate subdomain that's part of Ten Academy, but it will be a new website that's uh, used for the job search phase. So I think that might clear up what Abu Bakr said. Abu Bakr, you can continue. Oh, okay, I understand. So I ask because one of the reasons I ask is 
the the 10x platform is not currently working that is that is fair. thank you all right good and about the 10x uh, website it's currently under maintenance so it will uh, get back to working hopefully soon Okay, thanks, uh, Gudi and Abdulahmid. So, just want to ensure that uh, everyone understands. So, the the most important po points that has been shared here. I mean, every information is important, but I think about uh, you know, liking a job or super liking a job or skipping and giving us feedback. Can I confirm that we all understood that part, or do you want that they can clarify it again? because uh, that's how you're going to be helping us to know what kind of jobs appears on your screen. You know, we are going to be defining what comes, what jobs we recommend to you according to the feedbacks you gave us. Do, did we understand those points or do you want to clarify? You can give me reaction, thumbs ups, if you understood or thumbs down, if you want them to clarify. Uh, I will say that I think everything will be clear with the demo, yes, uh, but the demo will be super practical, like straight to the point, so it's very important that we understand the intro part of it, but yeah, okay, Enoch, you can go ahead. Okay, uh, I just wanted to know, like, uh, what was it like before uh, LEAP, like, how were uh, previous cohorts? Uh, how did they handle the job search part? So if I can answer that, that's me. Um, previously, uh, 10X had a, a similar job tracking and job application system in, in place, but uh, in previous cohorts, uh, trainees would have to apply to over 100, 200 jobs per week for them to find a suitable job, right? So we, they would find uh, job recommendations on uh, the 10X uh, job, job application system, but it, would, it wouldn't be really refined. So we, what we're trying to do is, uh, instead of wasting those uh, uh, 198 applications on, on a job, then you can specifically apply to those two jobs that are aligned with your skill sets. Okay, uh, I think Abdurrahman has a question. Go ahead. Uh, okay, uh, I missed some of the, uh, the explanation. So okay. uh, my, my understanding, my understanding, uh, you can correct me so I get a better, a better understand. Uh, I will get on my platform page uh, a lot of uh, jobs. So I will apply for them or I will choose is this good for me or not and uh, i apply for what i want and then i will get feedback from the totals about uh, these jobs is this right or or how the flow will be so when you get into leap <clears throat> the first thing you will see is a job and then a description one job will be displayed to you and you can you can skip it or you can uh, you can go ahead and like it or, or something but after that um, if you you get to see the descriptions of it right the descriptions of the job and you will go there and you'll uh, find all of the attributes and re responsibilities that are that is required uh, to you after you've assessed the, the job then you give us um, the feedback for example there are a list of questions you can answer uh, two three questions about the, that job you can give feedback about that then after that if you uh, super like it it will be uh, automatically the job will be included in the engagements folder then when you open the engagements folder you can you can see your match status if you're if you have a high score of uh, matching but you if your skill is matched 
with this uh, specific job, then a CV and cover letter will be automatically generated for you. And then you there's an apply link. You will uh, you will follow the necessary steps to apply to that job, and you will track that job and uh, give us feedback about the status of that job. If they called you, for example, if you uh, apply to that job and you landed an interview, then you can describe that on LinkedIn. You know, so, so you so you can track your pro progress about a specific job. This way, your engagement listing will have a different statuses. For example, for one job, you, you might be up for an interview, and for another job, you might pass an interview and um, waiting for an offer. You know, so you can uh, track your you can use Leap for for tracking your applications as well. Okay. Uh, also, is it uh, uh, a one by one process? Uh, for example, when the job uh, pop up to me in the first uh, and I accept it, so after adding the job to the engagement part, so is another one will be sh uh, shared with me or or how it how it will be i mean the maximum jobs that yeah. i can apply per day yeah so <clears throat> we've uh, incorporated uh, an incentive system for example um, uh, a high status uh, job uh, you can apply up to 10 high status uh, high uh, matching jobs per day you'll you'll see it when on the demo but the job recommendations are basically infinite if you if you skip it will go to another job and will recommend you another another job but if you super like a job and if it's uh, if it's if it matches your profile then that's that will be counted as one uh, super liked job and which has a match status the if you for example for a day if you've uh, super liked 10 jobs um, it will it will it will have a limit of 10 super like jobs and this means that you you can skip or you can skim through a lot of jobs and you can apply but the matched and uh, the super like jobs are 10 as, or it's, it will there will be a specific number that you can apply to per day that doesn't mean you can't apply but um the super like then matched the you know the um the pinpointed uh, uh, use of leap will be applied to 10 to 10 jobs per day for you for now okay thank you uh, clear now okay. number 10 uh, confusing but what i want to clarify is you'll be able to generate 10 assets per day for um, assets are generally a CV and cover letters. So if you super yeah. like a job and that, that job matches uh, your uh, profile, you, you'd be able to generate uh, a CV and a cover letter for that job specifically. So you'd, you'd be able to have 10 such, uh, 10 such credits so that you can uh, have CVs and cover letters generated automatically. In regards to the number of applications you want to do, you can do as much as you like. No, uh, go ahead. Okay, uh, like you said, uh, 10, uh, 10 jobs, you can generate 10 CVs per job per day. Uh, what happens if I only use like seven today? Like, to, can I use thirteen tomorrow? Like, can I add the ones from today uh, onto tomorrow, or is it just per day? Is there some sort of uh, restriction? Yeah. So we want you guys to apply at least ten jobs per day. So you'd be using that ten credits for that day, and for the next day, you'd be having an, a new ten ten uh, credits. So since you'll be applying to at least 10 jobs per day, you'd be running off credits for the next day. The next day you'd have a new amount of credits. Okay. So we've organized a uh, navigation document on Leap and uh, uh, there, there will be a video um, walkthrough of Leap 
you'll have that before uh, before accessing Leap, and then you'll have a frequently asked question document. So you can ask questions on Slack, and I will include that on the frequently asked document so that other trainees will see that and get uh, the answer. Yep, get a show. Raise the hand. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear. Okay. Uh, I think uh, the, the system will display us a job, uh, one job, and we can engage with it so uh, there will be there will be another job if we skip it yeah yeah there will be another job so, if okay. Skip it, so skip okay so what if uh, we have chosen some jobs that that are not uh, that uh, very interesting for us just we we can see the job so we can say that oh this is good so we we engage with that so our credits will be uh, uh, decrease or something like that. Maybe there are some other best uh, switch, uh, best fitting jobs in, in the coming uh, steps. What? How are we going to know that? Did you get my idea? I think I got your idea. Are you asking um, if you if you uh, you know if you used all your daily cr credits and then you come across. Uh, very uh, a job that you like. What what then, right? Yeah, that you yeah. Possibly... Maybe better than better than the jobs that we have applied. Maybe we can see mm -hmm. other jobs that uh, best fit more than that we have chosen yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. You can you can oh, still I'll... apply to to that job, um, but if you've used your um, credits, if the CV generation and uh, the automatic, uh, you can. For example, um, if you come across uh, a job that you like and your credits are over, then you can still apply to that job, but the CV generation and the cover letter generation won't be applied to that job. You know, uh, you, that, that CV generation and cover, cover letter generation, it would be uh, extracted from your skill sets, right? So uh, according to that uh, job responsibility, for example, from job to job, your CV uh, might be different. Some, some, uh, so one job might want one uh, specific type of responsibility, and the other might want a different one. But in this case, you won't have the uh, access to generate a CV that is optimum for you to um, to have a very well thought of and well organized CV for that specific job. But you can still apply to that job using, uh, you know job assets and cv assets and cover letter assets and you'll be able to um uh, to apply to a job even if you don't have credits but the cv generation and cover letter generation is really useful for you so that's why you have to really uh, understand the job descriptions so so that you can use the daily credits very efficiently okay um can you uh, can you uh, um, sorry if you if you uh, for example these are really good questions can you put these questions on slack so that i can collect them and then uh, put them on the frequently asked documents okay yeah. Right. Uh, I okay. Sorry for that. I believe all questions have been answered. Then uh, let's look forward to uh, to the afternoon demo. But of course, if you still have any questions or need any clarification, feel free to post in all SGS Math One or All Tank Support. Uh, we'll be happy to have a discussion. Musa, you wanted to say something? Yeah. Uh, so please do refresh your schedule so that the latest changes will be reflected. We will be having a demo session on the afternoon. So please refresh the motion calendar. OK, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, have a great uh, afternoon, everyone.